Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Final Fantasy VII Let's Play playthrough, walkathon, walkthrough, digest of every guide known to man. <laughs> Guys, I'm coming off a high right now because we just beat the Midgar Zolom and received the beta magic. I haven't gotten a chance to actually show it off yet, so we're going to do it. Um, I'm just going to run around the uh, planes right here until eventually we find what we are looking for. So I'm, I'm really just finding a battle because I want to do beta one time just to see, just to, sh just to show off how awesome this spell is. Uh, so we'll just skip, we'll just skip, uh, we'll skip, there we go. Now we have the enemy skill uh, beta. Check this out ladies and gentlemen. My new favorite thing to do. Bang! <laughs> 1,300 points of damage to each opponent. It is fire-based, so, you know, anyone who's strong against fire absorbs fire. Don't use, you know, beta against them. But that's not going to be a problem for a really long time. So anyway, I'm really stoked to have that spell at our disposal. Um, that's going to make the rest of the game for the foreseeable future... Uh, significantly, significantly easier. You'll see that I have about 13,000 gil right now. That's because I've been leveling up, or I've been a uh, gil gathering outside of the Chocobo Ranch. I'm um, gathering experience. I've been uh, basically just... Oops, how do I get rid of that? Ah, how do I get rid of that? Huh? Cool. Anyway, um, <clears throat> anyway, I think we are ready to move forward with the plot now that we have all of our enemy skills, everything that we need to be successful moving forward. You know, it is all about sharpening the axe, more so than chopping down the tree. <laughs> so just to recap, you can go over here and talk to this guy, and he will give you the Chaco Mog Materia uh, after they do a little dance for you. If they didn't show up on camera, I'm sorry. I think it does anyway. Uh, anyway, so we'll come over here. I'll give give it one more rest. This guy will tell you about the Midgar Zolom and how you get around it. The idea is you rent a Chocobo, and you simply run away from the big snake. Um, the big snake does, you know, uh, constantly uh, respawn. So you can never actually beat the Midgar Zolom, you know, forever. There will always be another one there, uh, which is good considering how many tries it took us to get beta. But um, <clears throat> anyway, he's just warning us that, hey, don't even try it. You're not at a high enough level <laughs> because he's not like us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving forward with the plot, we're going over here to the Chocobo Ranch, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's the Chocobo Stable, I should say. And this guy's gonna let us down easy. He's like... I'm like, yeah, I want a Chocobo. And he's like, sorry guys, we don't have any. Why? Because we're all empty, can't you tell? <laughs> uh, the ones outside belong to somebody else. But if he really wants a Chocobo, you should just go out and catch one. He makes it sound like it's so easy to catch a Chocobo. Alright, so where are Chocobos? Well, you see there's call prints out there. They are where, to they're where Chocobo tracks are. Blah, 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 blah. But if you don't have Chocobo Lore, you have to have one. Um, you have to get one. You need a Chocobo Lore. What's a Chocobo Lore? Chocobo Lore is the type of materia that attracts Chocobos. If you equip this, they'll come to you. But without it, they will not appear. Where are they? Oh, we're going to do this one. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to waste your time there. I'll click through as fast as I can. Ah, I missed one. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Want to know how to catch Chocobo? Where are they? How do I catch one? What else? Not interested. How do I catch one? A wild chocobo always appears with other monsters, but you won't be able to catch it because of the monsters. That's why you must defeat the monsters first before you catch the chocobo. Uh, and then... Wild chocobos are really cautious. They'll run away from the smallest things, but if you use greens, they'll focus on them and they won't run away. Uh, what else? Whatever you do, don't make chocobos angry. They're usually calm, but if you get them angry, you'll get hurt. <laughs> oh, and remember, once you get off a chocobo, it'll escape. Uh, not in... Oops. Ah, man, I meant to hit the button. I, it, I promise that was not my fault, guys. That was not my fault, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out of this not interested. Well, then shall we get down to business? I'll sell you the Chocobo Lore for 2,000 gil. What a ripoff. But I guess we need it, so we'll go ahead and buy it. Fork over the money. 
wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. And oh, and how fast struggle they're eating depends on what type of greens you feed them. So buy, uh, we'll just go with the uh, guy soul greens for now. We'll go with two or three of them. We don't need very many right now because we're not getting heavily into the chocobo thing yet. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is equip the uh, Chocobo Lure onto somebody. And seeing as how we have two senses, uh, we'll get rid of one of them. Uh, we don't need you to use sense anymore. Chocobo Lure. Great. So now that Cloud has the Chocobo Lure materia attached, he will be able to attract Chocobos out in the wild near those tracks that we were grinding at earlier. Now I'm going to do something a little bit strange here. I'm going to move... Oops. Uh... I'm going to arrange uh, these in such a way that the, oh, where are you? The uh, Geisel Greens are actually at the very top of my list. Reason being, I want to be able to grab those right away before the Chocobo can escape later on. That's like Final Fantasy VII 101 basic stuff there. Um, it's not the end of the world if you can't get to it in, you know, obscenely fast, but if you can get to it quicker, it's always better than not. <laughs> Let's see if we have a chocobo here. We do not. <laughs> I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that to death. That beta is just not gonna go away, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Yes, goodbye. I do not wish to see you anymore. Running on some chocobo tracks, the chocobo, chocobo tracks, yeah. There's a metal song about this that I saw on another walkthrough. Uh, oh, this sounds good, ladies and gentlemen. We have a chocobo at last. <laughs> First thing we want to do is make sure we use those Geisel greens. Now, hopefully Tifa doesn't go off on a chocobo here. No! Tifa, I hate you. That's okay. It's not that hard to find another Chocobo, but man, I didn't need that. Secondary menu, we don't need that anymore. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Chocobo. Please come back. I have more greens for you. And I promise Tifa won't go ballistic on you again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to catch this Chocobo for real this time. Uh, I think I'm still just reeling from the fact that I just beat the Midgar Zolum. Like, that's just a really, really, really fun thing to be able to say. I've never been able to do that before, guys, so really excited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we caught a chocobo. This is our first chocobo of the game, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> the first one we've ever, yep, yeah, the first one we've ever ridden. So, pretty fun. All right, how to ride a chocobo. Press the cancel button, that's the B button to get off. Chocobos will escape the second a player dismounts. So let's not do that. <laughs> now, uh, even though you're on the chocobo, if the Midgar Zolum does touch you, you will still have to fight the Midgar Zolum and you'll lose your chocobo. So. 
do not do not uh, think that the Chocobo is immune to the Midgar Zolem. But out here in the main world, the main map, uh, you can no longer, uh, well, you won't be affected by random battles anymore. Ah! Oh no! Whew! <laughs> I thought he was going to catch me for a minute. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Did Sephiroth do this? Amazing. It's a power that we should respect. Tell me that's not just straight terrifying, guys. Appears as if I there we go. <laughs> All right. And we are in our first cave of the game. I love being in the wild as opposed to being anywhere else in the game, guys. It's just uh, so much nicer. So, we are going to spend just a little bit of time in this cave right now because there's a specific enemy I'm looking for. Uh, who will give us our next enemy skill. Um, we're not going to use it very much because we have beta, um, but it's, it's the flamethrower command, which is a really, a really interesting, a really fun command to use. Um, if you can't use beta for like MP reasons or whatever, you should be able to use flamethrower. These are the enemies we're looking for, actually. Hopefully, yep, there it is. Now, hopefully he's in a cloud. They do. And on the first try, we have enemy skill uh, <laughs> flamethrower. So... I'll use Matra Magic right now, though, because I don't think Beta is going to work on all of them. Super excited to use all the enemy skills, guys. You'll see why later on. It's just another thing you can complete. Um, it looks really satisfying to have all of the enemies, enemy skills together. Um, but it's also really fun to just say, hey, I mastered this. Um, and it makes the game really easy if you get into the... Uh, uh, get into the right the, the right spaces with the right skills. It makes the game significantly simpler uh, and a lot a lot more a lot a lot easier on you. Sorry, I just received a text message and I needed to reply to that. That was a, a fairly important one. Oh goodness, another battle. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, super excited guys check this out you see this little vine right here this is an easy vine to miss if you're not paying attention like if you don't have your select button on you can't see that vine um, this leads to a hidden materia this is the long range materia the long-range materia eliminates the need to have a long-range weapon to hit flying enemies, or to hit enemies who are at a distance. Um, presently, we're, we're okay without it, because it seems like we can reach most people okay, but right now, right now the only enemy who, or the only, the, the only party member we have who can attack enemies from a distance is actually uh, Barret, because uh, he uses a gun. So, uh, Red 13, Cloud, Tifa, they're all short-range fighters, so... Um, Equipping them with a long range uh, will be very, very useful in future battles. What the heck? Oh.
as always, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, always use the uh, sources on our protagonist, Cloud. Go ahead and multi summon ice here just to see what it's just to see what happens. Yeah, so ice is not really that great a spell to use in this game, guys. I haven't really seen a use for it, you know, except for like time killers, but I use it just because I like I like ice. I just kind of identify with the element. But uh, I think fire is a much stronger one to use, or bolt definitely is much more useful, especially in Midgar. Um, and now that we have, I mean, I guess now that we have, now that we have beta, we're really not going to use fire like ever. <laughs> uh, flare, probably not. Fire, no nope. flamethrower. Uh oh, we have Rude and Reno. <laughs> Turks, right? Well, if you know, this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Sir! It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Then explain, Elena. Elena, <laughs> uh, I'm the newest member of the Turks. Elena, thanks to what you, thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short-handed. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. Anyhow, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed, and to try and stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, it's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. <laughs> Elena, you talk too much. Mr. Zhang. No need to tell them about our orders. Sorry, Zhang. I thought I gave you your orders. Now go. And don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's headed for June and Harbor. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir. I like the Turks. I think they're annoying, but I really do like them. They seem like pretty cool characters for, you know, most games. Compared to most games, there's always some annoying... Like, they're like the Team Rocket kind of characters, you know? They're not really the bad guys, but they're the bad guys. Grab this puppy, an elixir, and a high potion, ladies and gentlemen. Can never have too many of those. <laughs> Looks like they're going to make me uh, actually do some work on this one. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the end of the cave, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. So we are out onto the world map at last. We'll be coming up on 20 minutes or so on this session, I think. Yeah, so far, depending on how things line up. Okay, so there's a couple places we can go. 
this is our next destination, is Fort Condor uh, over there. Uh, Fort Condor is a recurring minigame. I personally think it's the worst minigame in the history of ever, always. But uh, it's a good place to go. We're going to go over here, though, uh, into the woods. And we're actually going to try to do uh, one of the game's more noteworthy... Uh, more notable, I should say, uh, mini quests, or yeah, like side quests here. Shoot. Goodbye. Yeah, good riddance, jerk. <laughs> This, by the way, is a fantastic place to uh, actually uh, grind for AP. Um, those groups in particular are ridiculous. So, huh. um, very weak to like everything. They're easy kills. Uh, you can use Matcher Magic and actually take them down in one hit. Um, you get a lot of points per battle doing things that way. The downside is that they can just target one person when they all attack back to back to back to back that way. But um, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen as often as you might expect. And as long as you, as long as you stay on top of things and heal where you need to, you'll be fine. See that thirty AP? We leveled up a fight. Yeah, we're golden. Great place to grind limit breaks. Great place to level up your materia. So he actually has fire too now, which is nice. Very good, very nice. Alright, this is the side quest we were talking about. This is Yuffie. We were gonna let her have it. It shouldn't take too long to beat her, but uh, this is your one chance to really do a whole lot of damage to her for all the fact for the trouble she's causing and that she's gonna cause to us later on. Yuffie's gonna be a member of our party and she's really powerful. She's like a ninja kind of person. Um, but you have to go about, you know, collecting her in a very specific kind of way. Alright, we got her. So first thing you want to do is don't use that save point no matter what. She's a ninja, so you want to keep your eye on her. Man, I can't believe I lost. We are not interested.
petrified. Let's hurry. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, she's in the party. Her name is Yuffie. She's a ninja, and she's awesome. It's going to take a lot of work to deal with her in the party um, because she leaves us for a while. She does some other stuff that's typical of the ninja characters in Final Fantasy. But for the time being, yeah, she is in our party. I'm going to keep her name as Yuffie in consistency with, uh, consistent with what we've done with all of our characters and their uh, ordinary, ordinary default names. We'll select right there. I'm Yuffie. Good to meet you. <laughs> Just as I planned. No, all I have to do is a little this and a little that. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Hey, wait up. Wait for me. I actually don't like Yuffie's character very much, but I like the fact that I like I like her as a fighter a lot. Her character is a little annoying, though, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save one more time. And if we use PHS, you can actually see that Yuffie is now in our party. At level 22, she is the strongest member of our party. She is not kidding around when it comes to, like, the fact that she can throw down, man. She can throw down. Anyway, we're going to keep her there for the time being. I'm not going to use her uh, quite yet. Do we have the tent handy? We do. We're going to roll right on up here to Fort Condor next. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to save right here. I'd say this has been a successful night of Final Fantasy. We're going to stop right here until next time. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Continue rooting for me. Still ecstatic that we have beta. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Until next time.